The Bank of Ghana cut its interest rate from 16 to 15 percent Friday. The move follows a drop in the country's inflation rate for the ninth consecutive month. VOA's Kimberly Russell has more on Ghana's efforts to keep inflation in check. Financial analysts say Ghana's stringent fiscal policies, coupled with a stable political environment, have helped ease inflation. The government took action last year after its inflation rate skyrocketed to 20 percent. Daniel Agbarmi, executive director of Data Bank, explains. Because the government hasn't been spending, government has also been able to reduce its reliance on domestic borrowing. And in addition to that, uh, the government also benefited from some uh, external inflow. So basically, uh, that has helped in maintaining a tight fiscal policy. Agbarmi says Ghana's fiscal discipline and political stability are also helping attract foreign investors. We have had the track record of both political and macroeconomic stability, whereas within the sub-region um, it hasn't been that great. So yes, one can say that the fact that the sub-region uh, hasn't you know, done too well both political stability and then economic stability uh, may make Ghana look good. But Howard University professor Kofi Kissy dompre says Ghana must be careful with foreign investment. An economics professor, Mr. dompre says the initial financial effect may be beneficial, but not always for the long term. Foreign investment may immediately give some jobs. But you see, when you're talking about development, you're talking about sustainability. And the sustainability of uh, development requires that earnings or profits should be plowed back into the economy. But generally, that's not what foreign investment do uh, it does. When they earn the profit, they repatriate the profit. So the, uh, uh, the snowballing effect that you expected will not be Forthcoming. Ghana is the world's second largest cocoa producer after Ivory Coast. Cocoa accounts for the majority of Ghana's agricultural exports. Professor Dompre says since Ghana's population consumes mostly food items, the government should take a new approach to agriculture. So the government should substantially see how to improve the agriculture sector and that not only will help I reduce consumer inflation, but also bring in food security. They have to I create a process whereby the agriculture sector becomes an important driving force. Both Professor Dompre and Mr. Ogbarmi say Ghana should also develop its infrastructure, in particular roads, electricity, and the water system. They say by doing this, Ghana will position itself for faster economic growth. Kimberly Russell, VOA News.